Happy holidays from ZNS TV 13. Welcome back. Member of Parliament for Central Grand Bahama spreading the Christmas cheer to students within his district. This past Friday, Santa Claus made a trip to Grand Bahama and visited two primary schools. Let's go to Megan Shepherd with this report. Christmas came early for students at Lewis Yard Primary School. Santa Claus traveling from the North Pole on Friday to give out gifts to the students and staff. Member of Parliament for Central Grand Bahama, Nico Grant, organizing the fun day for the school as they head into the Christmas break. Earlier today, they were treated to lunch uh, with my compliments. And as you would have just seen, they've all received gifts. Uh, not only have the children received gifts, but the teachers and staff members, uh, including the janitors and janitors, all received gifts uh, from me. And it's my way of saying thank you to Ms. Bullard and her staff who's doing a wonderful job with the students here at uh, Lewis Yard Primary. Principal Sandra Bullard says the school is appreciative to Grant for all that he does for the school. Noting the excitement of the day, she says it's a good start for their Christmas holiday. They were so excited, they're kind of uncontrollable today. When Mr. Grant comes, we know that he's always coming bearing wonderful gifts. So Mr. Grant is our Santa, so we are very grateful for him. Today we had fun days, the kids had a good time, and when they saw Santa, they just were elated. Who knows, this may be the only gift some of them received. So we are honorably, we are truly grateful, Honorable Nico Grant, for your contribution to our school. Grant says seeing the smiles on the kids' faces was priceless and inspires his generous initiatives. It brought joy to my heart because as a youngster growing up in West End, uh, we've never had an experience like this. And uh, I believe that as a member of parliament for this area, I have a responsibility to treat kids uh, the way I would have liked to have been treated when I was a youngster. Members of the Kingdom Culture John Canoe Group also partnered with Grant to top off the fun day. They then traveled to the Bartlett Hill Primary School to give out gifts and provide the students with lunch. Megan Shepard, CNS Network News. Well, students of the Bible Club at Walter Parker Primary School coming together to show love and kindness to students affected by Hurricane Joaquin. Director of the Bible Club, Dr. Marco Margo Victor, says the students have come together to donate various school supplies and reading books to assist students in continuing their education. When we came into this semester, we were faced with the crisis of southern, the southern islands in the Bahamas uh, having been devastated with the hurricane walking. And we thought it was a great opportunity to teach our children about uh, the golden rule, the second greatest commandment which Jesus taught, to love your neighbors you love yourself. And the project was to give back to, to kids their age or to students in one of those islands. We chose San Salvador because it's a small island. Uh, we believe we could generate enough of the materials to provide supplies for both the primary school and the high school. Principal Jacqueline Pinder says she's so proud of the students for their efforts and generosity, especially during this Yuletide season. Pinder says the Bible Club is a program the school fully endorses as it promotes God's work and will groom the students into positive, successful members of society. We are extremely pleased that the Bible Club of Walter Parker Primary would do this because, you know, months after the hurricane, people would have forgotten about students who, are, or who won't have the same privileges as our students do at this school. So we feel extremely proud to, to do this, but more importantly, to show God's love. Um, the Bible Club is a club that we endorse here 100% um, um, because it adds to our children the values and the principles that the Christian values and principles that they need in order to be great students. A local company joining in the spirit of giving this Christmas during the launch of an historic campaign. Joan Davis Roll has this story. There's a new initiative being launched here on Grand Bahama by a local company just in time for the holiday season. And persons on Grand Bahama New Providence will have a chance to win. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, so imagine driving into the new year with a brand new automobile. Officials at Jarol Investments, owners and operators of Chances Games, launching a grand campaign here on Grand Bahama. 
General Investments Marketing Manager Karen Wilson says to date it is one of their biggest campaigns ever. It's a chances holiday, which we have two grand prizes. One is in Freeport and one is also in Nassau. It's a grand I-10 from Quality Auto Sales and it's featured our lovely car, which is here. And to enter to win, you can purchase a ticket or you can make a deposit on your account of $20. And every time you make a deposit or purchase a ticket, it increases your chance to win this vehicle. Wilson says there will be additional opportunities for the public to join in this exciting Christmas promotion during this festive season. We have other prizes like laptops, flat screens, a lot of surprises, and also cash prizes. We're asking people to get verified. To get verified is a very easy procedure. You just bring in your passport, driver's license, or voter's card, or a current bill so they can know your address. And if you don't verify, you won't be able to put any money on your account. Your account will be locked out. Sales manager at Quality Auto with Phil Bain spoke to what makes the grand prize so grand. Great choice in vehicle, it's the I-10. It's a new product by Hyundai, 2015. This model just came out for 2015. It's an exciting vehicle, man. It has all the amenities, all the features. It's a small vehicle in status, but in it has big in quality and big in uh, equipment and big in today's technology. You know, you have all the modern technologies, the Bluetooth, everything that you want in your automobile. Joan Davis Roll, ZNS Network News. Now, of course, this campaign is also being launched in the northern and southern Bahamas. And now it is time to ask the doctor. I'm Dr. Monique Pratt. Welcome. Leona Bodie asked a question yesterday regarding jaundice. As I mentioned, jaundice is a yellowish discoloration of the eyes or skin that results from an excess of a chemical called bilirubin in the bloodstream, which is the waste product of iron released from red blood cells when they break down. Other symptoms that might occur with jaundice are fever, fatigue, itchiness, abdominal pain, vomiting, pale stools, and dark urine. There are many causes for jaundice, which may include Viruses that can affect the liver, like hepatitis A, B, and C, alcohol, cirrhosis of the liver, autoimmune disorders in which the body attacks its own tissues, gallstones, some medications like acetaminophen or Tylenol if consumed in large amounts, inflammation of the gallbladder or pancreas, or gallbladder cancer. If you or someone else notices yellowing of your skin or the whites of your eyes, please see a doctor for further evaluation. If you have a question, please email askthedrbahamas at gmail.com or drop it in my question box at the hospital or any of our community clinics. I'm Dr. Monique Pratt, and this has been Ask the Doctor. Stay with us. Ricardo Lightborn has a check on sports when we come back.